Okay, so we're ready to install our finishes for our shower and tub. So I'm going to start with uh, the tub diverter here. And so um, this is what we have here. It's pretty nice. Uh, and as you, you might be able to see down there, this is a threaded application. And so when we talked about removing the things, we said that there are two kind of different uh, choices that you can have. You can have the threaded on version, or you can have one with the set screw. And so ours is the threaded on version. So what we have here is inside the wall, we have a threaded receiver. And then here we have our threaded galvanized pipe. And so uh, we're going to thread this into the wall first and then onto here. And so uh, some things I did is it was very tough to get the correct size of this. I measured and I measured and, and I couldn't quite get it. And so um, this is actually five and a half inches. Um, I had a five and a six and neither really worked. And so what I did is I took this into Home Depot and they were able to take a six inch piece cut half an inch off and then put threads back on this. And so um, that's something they can do for you. It's a free service that they provide. Um, and so if you, if you don't have the right size pipe, you can always go ahead and get it cut. Uh, the tools for cutting galvanized pipe and threading it are very expensive, so I don't recommend going out and buying the whole rig um, to cut and thread pipe. It's not really worth it when they can do the service for you. So we're gonna start off by putting it in the wall. And so we have our Teflon tape here. And I'm going to thread this guy up. One, two, three, and four. I always like to come back and just make sure that is in the threads. So the tough part here is kind of finding your little elbow and then threading it in. So if you remember, we've got our Dietra seal right here, which is really nice because it, it kind of goes around the pipe and seals out water. All right, so we're in there. Hand tighten it to start. And then I can go ahead and get my pipe wrench out and tighten it down. So I like to tighten the one inside the wall uh, more than I tighten this one because if I had a leak out here, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. Um, but a leak inside the wall is kind of a big deal. Okay, you're good there. So same thing, I'm gonna use my tape on this one. Okay, and so like I said, this has the threads in here, and so we're going to put this guy on and thread it in. And so um, one thing that you can do, depending on how this fits, is put some caulk back here, um, or if it fits really nice and you don't need to, then you don't need to do any caulk or silicone. And so um, I've already dry fit this, and it, and it looks pretty good. And so what's nice about this is if any water does get behind there, this almost has like a little weep hole right here. And so the water will be able to drip out and it won't really affect, it won't sit in here and it won't uh, rust out anything. So I'm gonna start threading it. This is fairly easy as long as you line up with the threads. Obviously, you're going to want to align this 90 degrees, and I'm going to try to get one more turn out of it. We got really tight against the tile here, but right like that. 
And that's it. And so this is how you do your tub. Um, and what's nice about this is this will be the button that you can use to uh, turn your shower on right here. And so that's how you do the install for this. And now we're going to work on the shower diverter. Thanks for watching our video. Um, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you can get updated on all our newest videos. Also, go ahead and click the links below so you can uh, see our social media profiles as well as our website.